But we begin with that deadly heat wave sweeping across the nation this afternoon. Oven-like temperatures and humidity are creating extremely uncomfortable conditions for those in Korea now. But forecasters say we have yet to see the hottest day of the year. Already, there is an excessive heat warning issued across the nation's capital. Now, just how high will the mercury rise? Arirang News Yulian has our top story. Seoul is feeling the heat and it's not likely to let up anytime soon. Last night marked the fifth consecutive night the capital suffered what is referred to as a tropical night when the temperature remains above 25 degrees from 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. On Tuesday night, the mercury only dipped to 26 degrees in Seoul. The situation was similar elsewhere around the nation. Down south on Jeju Island, daytime temperatures reached nearly 35 degrees on Tuesday, a record 10-year high. And it seems like temperatures are still on the rise. Temperatures will peak on Wednesday afternoon in Seoul, when the thermometer is expected to go as high as 35 degrees, according to the Korean Meteorological Administration. Temperatures in Daegu and Gwangju are expected to reach 35 to 36 degrees. The consequences of the blistering temperatures have been quite severe thus far, resulting in illness and some deaths. The Ministry of Health and Welfare said the number of patients suffering from heat-related illnesses rose to 211 in just five days last week, and six people have died since the beginning of June. The Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has advised everyone, and especially the elderly, to stay hydrated, remain indoors, and be less active during this period. Meanwhile, a tropical storm called Damri is approaching the southern end of the Korean peninsula from Japan and is expected to hit Jeju Island with strong winds and up to 150 millimeters of heavy rain tomorrow. But the Meteorological Administration says the storm is small in size and will pass on to China without reaching the inland areas of Korea. Yudian, Arirang News.